Hello world, Whiskey Hello. Wednesday here. Hello everyone. Indeed. It's Wednesday afternoon. Whiskey Wednesday. Indeed. Halfway. Post flood. Post. I'm not going to mention the flood anymore. Cause I'm well, just post, <laughs> post my, my week of, of being in, yes, in Scotland. Yes, welcome back Jackson. Yes, welcome back. Um, we had a also, great week when yeah. you were here Jackson. <laughs> also, I was Boy, told. Boy, you've got a lot of payoff. <laughs> I was told yesterday by one of our followers oh, yeah. to wear black. Oh yes. Black t-shirts work better. So if you if you have any suggestions, <laughs> <laughs> I was told by somebody uh, you mentioned flood about fifteen times. <laughs> <laughs> but it okay. was the big event of the week. It, yeah, just slightly, that was last. Week. We were just slightly overwhelmed by flood. How yeah. many has happened? About four or five now. There's only a flood <laughs> counter in the corner. How many times is Shelley going to say flood? Flood. <laughs> It was, but, it was definitely a broken week because I, I actually only had like 20 minutes of rain in Scotland in 10 days. Jackson, would you and like to go back now? <laughs> he actually did mention no, that if we ever set up a shop like, in Scotland, he, he would, would put himself Glenn, forward. Glenn Fiddick told me, they were like, oh no, but it's not always like this. Ha, um, hang on one second, do we want to hear this? <laughs> <laughs> no. They, they said to me, like, oh, it, it does rain here often, rain on the weekend. I'm, like, mm, I'm not sure, because every day it's been better and hotter, so I'm kind of thinking that they've got all the sun and they just don't tell anyone. They pretend mm. it rains all the time. Maybe. Perhaps, indeed, perhaps. indeed, indeed, indeed. I'm not convinced. What are we trying today? <laughs> we are trying, actually, I'm a huge fan of the distillery Spade. Yes. I think they're a little bit like flying under the radar, but if anyone watched them, they're just like piling on the awards. Mm. Yeah. So that's that's the thing. They're, they're kind of, you feel like they fly under the radar for the average drinker, but at competitions, they're all over. They it, are, you know? indeed. So, yeah, they're getting they're like, almost like a whiskey drinker's brand as opposed mm. to uh, oh, Absolutely. I want to whatever for my for my aunt for my uncle brand they're yeah. like they are like if you this know is, yeah if you know, you know so this I'm is do definitely one so this is uh spade trutina um, do we know what trutina not, means um yes, Latin. Latin. note to self tell the boys what questions <laughs> i might ask <laughs> no, <laughs> before going live on facebook i didn't read about it but I, it's Ooh, oh, that's nice, nice. Uh, i go. i actually also love their bottles it's like nice long very stylish, like elegant. Mm. Quite, it's quite heavy to pick up as well, mm. just a little bit. So they have, me, they have a few um, in this range where they've used like Latin mm. names for. Mm. So they've got the Tritina and they've got a ten, like ten. It's like ten, but it's like T E N N E. Yeah, and it's hard to, to search for established because it's got all <laughs> yeah. those funny little yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the, the accents top. and everything. A few men, that's the other oh, one. Men, yeah, yeah that also, I have that one at home, I have mm -hmm. the past strength one. Yeah. And it's just slightly peated, it's mm. just great. Indeed. But then right, the, while we just leave this to um, to nose a little and air a little bit, I just wanted to talk a little bit about our cask explorers because it's the end of the month, yeah, which yeah. means um, the cask explorers are coming up. So if you want to be a cask explorer, what is that? You were saying, mm -hmm. um, basically every Sunday, the last Sunday of every month, I should say, we try some blind tasting whiskey. It's not, not blind, not very specifically, but it comes through your door. Um, you get, we do four blind whiskies. We're not uh, motivated by branding or marketing. Um, and it's up this Sunday. It costs just nineteen ninety nine a month. Um, to be and you also get access to money off um, certain bottles blah 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 lots of things more to follow on that yeah indeed so join our club but you'll find it on our website so if you're interested in tasting some whiskey live with us this could be your we've got a really good yes. practice this week I know Jackson's not been in on it this week no. but it's this coming Sunday so you've got until like probably like today and tomorrow if you're in the UK it's a good time to order to make sure you get your pack in time but meanwhile mm -hmm. meanwhile like this say yeah so they've actually this got is really nice a 12 as well um in their range so i mean they've been i think they've been producing since 1990 in the in the current um, okay. distillery so which used to be a, a like a watermelon a croft so it's really small it's quite quaint and um their pot stills are actually in the same room as their mash tons, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, so it's... Yeah, I mean, it's converted. It's, it's not like a lot of the other distilleries that they kind of surround. Yeah. Which were, you know, all built a couple of hundred years ago with uh -huh. roofs and everything. This is like 
a watermill mm. which turned into a distillery. I did think you said before a watermelon something. Uh, yeah, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> like, my kid I, I was watches like, cocoa watermelon or cocoa okay. melon or whatever. I was like, maybe shallow. I won't ask her to sound <laughs> foolish. What is a watermelon? Yeah, yeah. But I think you said <laughs> a watermill. Okay. Yeah, yeah, they have one of the big wheels on the outside. Got you. So I'm getting lots. Nice. I'm, I'm getting a little bit like peaches, you know. I was gonna say it's very fruity. Very fruity peaches. A nice little mm. bit of kick of alcohol. I'm getting that yep. as well. Here we go. Look how. Look, this is. I know you're gonna not see me now. <laughs> I've turned into a bottle of paper. Look, it was the best I could do. It's it may say to be me, an improvement. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, no? it's so it's. <laughs> um, it's no, 100% that, 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 bourbon cask, so it's yeah. quite light. Mm. <laughs> now you see me. <laughs> <laughs> oh lordy, lordy, you put Shelley in charge of the, <laughs> the deck. <laughs> Here we go. Vic uh, says, if you remember the TV yes. program called Monarch of the Glen, some of it was filmed there. I you believe in know. that show they called the distillery Lagenmore. Oh, yeah. So it was referred to as Lagamore mm. in the oh, show. So people yeah. think some people probably go there thinking, "Oh, I'm going to Lagamore Distillery," and they're like, "No, this has got to make up all this." <laughs> this is very, very, very fruity. Mm. I think we should summer fruits, like um, mm. like stone fruits. Mm. Mm. Yes, no like nectarines. Mm -hmm. mm. Let's go. A really lovely dram. That's just the fruity notes came all the way through mm. the, the, the on the palette for me. For me, that's the one word I go to straight away is refined. Yeah, it's a very refined dram. You know, you're getting that sweet notes, but you're also getting a little bit of heat, but nothing that is too out of place. Yeah. Easy drinker. I like how it it's it's light, but it's not overly oily. Mm -hmm. There's some. It's like a, it's like the a perfect summer mm. drink you know it's not heavy it probably would go really nice with uh, one of those um, light cocktails like cocktails like like you know when you put soda water in oh, I, I don't know what it's called mm. but I'm not so into doing that I'll be honest mm. <laughs> it's sometimes in the summer I quite like that with a little bit of ice maybe then do you lose the whole taste of the whiskey if you put it in a good whiskey or do you just do it with the blend of it depends how, mm. how, how good you make we had some great ones like um, I think Scottish Sling was a whiskey cocktail they made mm -hmm. up there um, actually, you know what you told me the, the weirdest thing that Jackson said about his trip in Glasgow oh. they <laughs> decide it's going to be a really good idea to take a Mars bar which is chocolate mm. caramel and biscuit <laughs> and stick it in a deep fryer and think it comes out better. I'm not sure <laughs> why thing. anyone would have thought that's a good combination, but I, when I come up to Scotland, that I was, don't want that. That was so funny when I told you, and you just look at me like, so what? Yeah. But it's, it's like, like firstly, that's like, a heart, <laughs> that's like a heart <laughs> attack on yeah, the plate. Absolutely. <laughs> this has got lovely, um, like, uh, Marzi Panny kind of notes mm. on, the, mm. on the end. This is really... The one thing I'm, I'm not getting... Mm. I'm not getting a huge like hit of vanilla. Mm. You know when you sometimes you, know, you drink a bourbon cask, you smell the vanilla, you you taste the vanilla. I'm not getting. I'm getting more, as we said, the the, the stone fruits, that sort of thing. Vic says you can get deep fried pizza. Or <laughs> no deep fried pizza. I can understand that. You know that crusts up the, uh -huh. the base, and we have that locally as well. Just to let you know um, when you next come. But back, back on your point though. I, for me, I'm you know, bourbon cask really isn't my go to. Yeah, I, mm. I actually avoid it more than I go for it, yeah. to be honest. Um, but this is really nice. You're right, I don't, I don't pick up any of those overly honeyed, I agree completely, like kind of syrupy mm -hmm. notes, not at all. It's, it's much more kind of natural. And another interesting thing that I'm getting is I'm getting the depth of quality which you don't always get on a non aged stated whiskey, mm. yeah. Because it doesn't feel a young whiskey, it doesn't feel short in my mouth, and it's just lovely to drink. But so, how much is this? Uh, 37 75 I think. That for me is very, very good, good value. Yeah, 37 pounds. Yeah, they're, um, they're also, 
uh, like they're kind of batch produced, uh -huh. so to speak. Like it's eighteen thousand bottles. I think the ten and the Premier are, are kind of similar. Yeah. So they're not mass mass production. Mm -hmm. no, obviously, no, it's not a small it's not out yeah. time, but it's also that they're small, so they probably will go a lot bigger once. Yeah. Bottled at forty six percent. The um, other the other cool thing I, I, I like about space, mm -hmm. I, I like their relationship with monarchy. It's a very unique aspect. None of the other distillers really have that. You know, they have the world choice and they have all the historic palaces and that combination between the whiskey. They've got some lovely packaging on that. Maybe I should have put one up to show everyone. Yeah, the there's picture. a royal and the chairman selection as well, isn't there? Yeah, so they do the royal comes in a lovely blue box with mm. a velvet and oh. It's really nice as well. They've definitely gone for very regal kind of packaging and styling of, mm. of, of their brand, I think. Um, yeah, I kind of guess, well. I would have said this is going to be right up Vic Street. Yeah, mm. it would have been yeah. Vic Street, but Street. it's not got that vanilla-y aspect to it, but I don't think you mind. No, but, uh, but uh, like a south of 40 quid whiskey, this yeah. is jolly decent. Mm -hmm. I think you pick up some of that um, good effect with the wood, like the the actual oak, rather than the the high vanilla and the honey mm. kind of notes that like there. Not getting that many oaky notes. Yeah. Sample. We'll send you a sample. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm getting that, that that tinge of spice though on the end, yes. which isn't a sherry spice. Uh -huh. It's it's uh, off the off the wood. Yeah, it's true actually. Well, really, really enjoyable. Mm. Spain. Spain. Um, just before we go, just another. Yeah, I actually really love the new. The new uh, like it's cast not new explorer. anymore, but yeah, it's it's quite cool. It mm -hmm. reminds me a little bit of like Shadow yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, mm -hmm. the best value whiskey subscription on the internet or anywhere. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, join us for your round on Sunday. Get your pack before then from our website, whiskey.com. Happy Whiskey Wednesday, folks. See ya. Bye. Bye.